Hello, writers. I hope you have been having a super great morning. Um, and I hope you're all geared up for writing. If you haven't set your writing table, make sure that when it's time for you to go to writing that you are sitting next to your writing partner and in the spot that you are assigned, okay? Make sure that you're where you're be you belong, all right? Um, Mrs. Gordon will be here soon and she will make sure that everybody is also where they belong. So, kindergartners, I was thinking about our writing, and now that we are stopping, and before we even start writing, you're turning to your partner and you're saying, excuse me, partner, can I please read my story to you before I start writing? You guys are working so hard to do that, and your stories are starting to really take off. And I was thinking, what can I teach them to make their writing better? And so I decided that I wanted to teach you how to start a story. And so today I want to teach you that the best way to become a better writer is to sometimes look at other books that we love and think about how they, how the authors use their strategies to make their books better and then almost to like copy them. So today I want us to take out Corduroy. Now this is Baby Leo's copy of Corduroy. And I want to talk about in Corduroy how on the first page when he talks about Corduroy, he doesn't say Corduroy is a bear with green overalls. Instead, he, the author starts off by saying, Corduroy is a bear who once lived in the toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all of the other animals and dolls for somebody to come along and take him home. Now, right there, when Don Freeman wrote that, he knew everyone reading his book was going to want to know, well, does anybody take Corduroy home? You can do the same thing with your writing. So right now, kindergartners, I want you to think about uh, the story that you're telling. Now, we're going to use my example about Cora. So if you remember my story about Cora, the other day Cora was packing up and she realized that she lost her bag. And so she asked me for a new one and all I could find was a paper bag. And as soon as she started putting her snow pants in, the bag ripped in half. And she, we looked at each other with our eyes real big. And then I ended up finding her a new plastic bag. How could I start that story? Turn and talk to your partner for a second. Yeah, you know what? I was thinking the same thing. I think I'm gonna start with one day I saved Cora's snow pants at the end of the day. Or I could say, last Wednesday, I was a plastic bag hero. Something like that will get the readers excited. They're gonna read that and they're gonna say, oh my goodness, I can't wait to read the rest of this story. Today, kindergartners, your challenge is going to be to go into your story that you've been working on. And I want you to think, how can I start this story in, ex in an exciting way? You might need to go get a new piece of paper and just staple it onto the front so that you can add that in there. Writers, you have a very busy day. You're going to be working on this today and tomorrow. And then when I come back on Wednesday, I can't wait to read your stories. Make sure that you remember that you need to be working quickly and you need to be writing furiously in order to earn your workshop letter. I can't wait to see your hard work. Your guest teacher will be walking around and asking for people to read to you and make sure, make sure, make sure before you start writing, you turn and tell your story to your partner. And partner, if your partner forgets, remind them. All right, you guys, I miss you so much. I wish we weren't homesick, but I know you're gonna have a great day. Have a great time in writing and then a great time in math and lunch and recess. Talk to you later, bye.